I think Big Brian would probably like this video. And I know he's a, he was, I, you know, I got to say was because they're longer in the NBA. But he was a big Seattle uh, Supersonics fan. And of course, the, you know, Seattle lost their franchise back in what, 2008, I think it was. And, um, there's some good news for basketball fans that live in the Seattle area or Washington State area. Um, apparently, the NBA wants to bring the Sonics back to the NBA. Uh, but it's the onus is on the Seattle metropolitan area. Uh, they have to create the funding necessary to create a more create a new state of the art basketball venue. When they get that out of the way, and they get that completed, and that new stadium erected, then very soon the NBA will bring the Seattle SuperSonics back to the NBA. Cause that was a really I think that's one of the big black eyes. Uh, excuse me, the, the one of the big, uh, yeah, one of the big black eyes of the administration. And the tenure of David Stern was that team being removed from uh, the city. Um, you know, Seattle has always been one of the big basketball towns. Uh, you know, I remember back in the day, back in the 90s, I'd say like the mid-90s especially, the Key Arena, which I remember the, the, that was the name of the arena that the Suns played in, was always like the loudest damn place to play in if you're an opposing team it was so loud and that was one of the things like they always said like always sort of knocked their opponents uh, out of the rhythm was that the, the crowd noise was so loud like a lot of times during timeouts they literally had to the coaches had to literally like I remember um, you know during timeouts and they were showing the playoff games I remember like when they were showing Utah playing them in 96 during the Western Conference Finals and of course us in the finals I always noticed that, you know, whether it was Jerry Sloan or Phil Jackson on their timeouts, they had to literally yell in the players' ears, you know, whatever the play was or the schemes were because they could not hear each other. It was the loudest arena by far. And uh, that team was beautiful to watch, man, in the 1990s. But, and, and also... It doesn't kind of make it doesn't make a lot of sense because as far as why Seattle can't get this done, is because they've upgraded uh, stadiums for other teams, other teams that are in the area, such as the Seattle Mariners and the Seattle Seahawks. So this needs to be done for basketball fans. I'm assuming when and if this ha occurs, what will happen is that the Seattle SuperSonics will just take. The identity and, and the back history that's from the Thunder. The Thunder, the Oklahoma City Thunder just become a completely original franchise. And all of the back history, which is attributed to this, the Thunder now, would go to that Seattle Supersonics team. And I'm assuming that's what will probably happen. But it will be nice to see the Seattle Supersonics back. And also, NBA, if you guys bring them back, don't change their fucking uniforms, okay? Don't give them one of these ugly-ass... You know, you know, don't don't change the goddamn uniform. Just keep it the way it was, all right. But that was my that's my thoughts. So tell me what you guys think.